What is going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Old School RuneScape's Unluckiest Players. In this one, we're checking out the unluckiest players in September of 2023. As always, if you have something that you would like to submit to either this showcase or my Luckiest Players Showcase, check out the email address on the screen. That is where you're going to want to send your submissions. Once you do that, check out the description down below. All of your instructions for submitting are listed down there. Please follow them closely, otherwise your submission may be disqualified. If you didn't know, I have an old school RuneScape merch store. You can find the link to this store in the description of my videos or underneath the channel banner on my page. After a long time waiting, I have finally gotten the player owned house aluminum sign back in the shop. This player owned house sign has all of your teleports within the player owned house on it. So with that, it's finally back in the shop and it is updated to have the poison waste teleport, the new one from the new quest in the correct location. Alongside this, there are some other aluminum signs to choose from as well as some home goods, coffee mugs, pint glasses, beer mugs, even got some t-shirts in there, some stickers, decals, all kinds of cool stuff, and a couple of new products coming soon. Without further ado, starting us off for September is going to be Wise Old Man 69 looking for the Magus Vestige over at the Duke. Right on the dot, two times the drop rate at 1,440 kill count. That's a lot of time spent. Exactly two times the drop rate. Next up is Vedianarian, who we have seen on this series before. Look for the Vedian pet. Now on to the Kraken pet grind, 8,282 KC. No Kraken pet yet for Vedianarian. Next up is Sven XD, looking for the Vedian pet as well as the Void Waker blade. No luck with either drop, 3,100 Calvarian KC. Sliggins comes in next, looking for a baby Chinchampa pet. Halfway to the big 200, 100 million XP so far with no pet. Sleepy Scylla is up next, looking for the Leviathan's Lure, finally finding it at 3,282 kill count. Drop rate on that lure is 1 in 768, however you have to get 3 1 in 256 drops. So essentially we're looking at 1 in 768. Saint Bleezy up next, no Prince Black Dragon, 9,000 kill count, that is three times the drop rate. Rumpu, the Iron Man, finally pulling in a Primordial Crystal for the account, 1,652 KC, that is over three times the drop rate for that specific crystal. Private Nuggies, get in a Joker Champion Scroll, 1 in 5,000 is the drop rate for any Champion Scroll. Dude had over 34,400 Joker kills trying to get that, and I can only assume this player is going for the Champion's Cape, which is, it. it is a grind. Next up is a double submission from Opaki, pulling a Siren Staff and an Axe Completion, finally at 2,555 Whisperer KC. Opaki's next submission is the Bellator Vistage. Had to wait 1,979 kill count. That is three times, one in 170, or if you add them all up, one in 512 for that Vestige drop. Almost four times the drop rate to pull in the Bellator Vestige. Another double submission, this one coming in from OJ De Innocent. No Void Waker gem. 533 Venonatus kills, 3,351 Spindle kills. OJ to Innocent's second submission. No Primordial Crystal yet. 2,208 KC at Cerberus. Has managed to pull in six Eternals, four Pegasians, nine Smoldering Stones, and four Jars of Souls, but just cannot hit that big money. Not Geert, four KC Zamorak Hill. Very nice on the low KC, but managed to die on the kill. Never got to pick it up. Not sure if you were able to make it back with an ecumenical key. It is pretty much a, it is a pretty good run to get there. So that hilt was most likely disappearing. Next up is no stands. Pet Snakeling, 10,123 KC. Pulling that Pet Snakeling in over two and a half times the drop rate. Mo W, looking for the Twisted Bow from the Chambers of Zarek, 2,712 normal completions, along with 256 challenge modes, has managed to roll the Mega Rare table four times, two Elder Mauls and two Kodais, but no Twisted Bow. Machin is up next, no Zuck Pet, and this is brutal, 110 kill count over at the Inferno, all of this extra cape sacrifice, can't manage to roll the pet on the kill, big oof. 
Kai Ill coming in next, fulfilling in the Abyssal Orphan at 5,567 kill count. That is a long time to spend at the Abyssal Sire. JTZ, 1992, no Jar of Souls to finish the Cerberus log. One in 2,000 on the drop rate for the Jar of Souls. Rarely the last thing that people are looking for. 5,378 total kills. It's Hoggle sending in an update here. Saw this one last month. It's Hoggle still has not managed to roll an Altor Vestige. Now at 3,500 Vardorvis KC, that is over three times the rate for the Vestige. And what happened to all these anti-dry mechanics that we were supposed to get along with these DT2 bosses? Iron Kibbs, 11 drops in 1,446 Zalra KC. Now for the Iron Man, this hurts. Seven of those drops have been Tanzanite Fangs. Four of them have been Onyx. Overall, kind of lucky on the drops, but not the actual type of drop that you're looking for. I am Albania. No Cerberus Crystals, 614 KC. Pretty low in the KC count, but 1 in 128 is what you're looking at for any of those crystals or the Smoldering Stone. So quite a few times to dry just to see any drop. Next up is Hunlift's Dad. No Enhanced Weapon Seed. 1,500 and Corrupted Gauntlet KC. Six pets though. Managed to roll six pets in 1,500 Corrupted Gauntlets, and that's really nice if pets were actually worth something, but still looking for that Enhanced Weapon Seed. Humble Owl, Noted Supersets on Hard Casket, number 140, always featuring the Noted Potions because oof, feels bad, man. Gim Rock Dino, pulling a Warp Scepter in at 1,570 kill count, quite a few times over the estimated drop rate that we should be getting here soon. Gim Nevok up next, dying on the first Magic Fang drop of the group Iron account. That's got to feel real bad getting that juicy drop and then just having to watch it disappear as you are teleported back to Lummy. Ekkaria is up next, pulling an Enhanced Weapon Seed in at 967 kill count. That is over two times the drop rate to get that from the Corrupted Gauntlet. Days coming in next. Zamorak Hilt to complete the log. Overall, it's a pretty lucky log completion. 3,253 KC. But having to wait that long for that Zamorak Hilt, which is a 1 in 508 drop rate, over six times the rate here for days. Crux FTS with a double submission here. Noted super restores on Elite Casket, number 130. Always feels bad. Crux FTS's second submission, no Jar of Souls to finish the log at Cerberus, another Jar of Soulless person here. 5,000 kill count, that is over two times the drop rate. Crux also has the least amount of Primordial Crystals, only three. So just kind of bad luck all around there for the drop log. Cowboy Kush is up next. Pulling a Venator Vestige, 1,805 kill count, almost three times the drop rate, about two and a half sitting there. For that Venator Vestige. Corrupted is up next, pulling a Scorpio Pet in, 4,673 kill count. Bowl of Gum, another person looking for the Magus Vestige, over two times dry for the overall drop rate, 1,488 kills so far, so far no Vestige. Blob Celeste, looking for some Zenite shards, hasn't managed to find one yet, 1,595 kill count, that is over five times the drop rate at one in 300. Blair Show, look for the Siren Staff for the Soul Reaper Axe, 1,500 KC, almost three times the drop rate over at the Whisperer. Ass Poop Dick, surprised that name is still around. No Zenite Shards for this account either, 1,515 kill count, once again, over five times the drop rate at one in 300. 2T Bow, pulling a Venator Shard in at 289 kill count. Not too many kills, but Muspa kills can be long. Venator Shard drops at a rate of 1 in 100. So T2 bow, almost three times the rate for a Venator Shard. All right, getting into our top five unluckiest players of the month. These are my top five personal picks for the unluckiest submissions that came in throughout the month. Obviously, you are allowed to disagree with them. If you do disagree and think something else should have been in there, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can discuss why. Coming in at number five is going to be King Panabas, ultimate iron account here, looking for the Herbie pet. 19,000 kills so far, one in 6,500 I think is the drop rate. So coming up on three times the rate for that Herbie pet. Number four, going to Rick. No Altor Vestige for this player, 4,200 kill count over at Vardorvis. That is almost four times the rate 
for what is supposedly that anti-drive mechanic to get you one of the vestiges from these DT2 bosses. Doesn't seem like it's working out very well. Number three is going to GG Never Lucky. This player has no Wisp pet, no vestige, no Virtus top or bottom, 3,658 kill count, over seven times the rate for the vestige, 150 plus hours spent so far. I have just started Whisper within the last week and I'm only at about 200, 300 kill count and it's already making me want to pull my hair out. So respect to you, dude, 3,600 plus kills. That is absolutely insane. Number two, going to Berserk. Iron account here, finally pulling in the Hydra Claw at 6,091 kill count. Drop rate on the Hydra Claw is one in 1,001. So clearly over six times the drop rate. And if you take the amount of time banking and killing into account, that is over 200 hours to get that drop. For number one this month, it is going over to Ice Gengar, finally pulling in a Callisto Cub, this one coming from Ardeo, but Ice Gengar had to kill 1,583 Callistos and 8,093 Ardeos to pull in that pet. Not only do you have to deal with the dryness of those drops, but you also have to deal with those pesky PKers out there. That is why Ice Gengar gets my number one spot for this month. All right, that is gonna wrap up the unluckiest players for September of 2023. As always, thank you for submitting to this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up down below. If you didn't get a chance to read my community post, the luckiest and unluckiest player series are coming to an end at the end of this year. There's a full detailed description as to why. You can head over to my community page and check that out. As always, thank you for watching the video, guys. I really do appreciate it. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.